Hey guys, Alcreeplay here, signing on for a new video, and today I have an amazing piece of tech for you guys to enjoy. I will be reviewing the Razer Turret Portable Gaming Mouse Keyboard Set. Now this keyboard and mouse set appealed to me specifically because I was looking for a gaming solution to go along with my Steam Link that wasn't the typical controller or wired gaming mouse and keyboard. I also have my desktop hooked up to my TV in the common area, and I thought it would be nice to be able to relax on the couch and browse the web or play games without the need of a controller or third party application. So in this review, I will be exploring the features as well as some pros and cons of using this device. I hope you guys enjoy it, and drop a like on this video and comment down below if you want to say hi, or with any questions you may have, or really anything at all. I always read your comments, and I try to respond to everybody, because I really love the engagement you have all given me in the past. So to start off this review, let's look at the design of this keyboard and mouse. As you can see, this keyboard and mouse set display the classic Razer aesthetic with its black and green color scheme, which is great for those who have an all black theme for their setup, which in reality is a majority of people. Comment down below what your gaming setup color scheme is. The tournament style chiclet 79 key count design of the keyboard, or lap board as Razer calls it, is the perfect size measuring in at just under one foot in length and 4.75 inches tall and under half an inch in height. This of course is not including the fold out mouse pad which adds an additional 8 and 1 fourth inch to its length. In total, the keyboard and mouse pad span a solid 20 inches. If you're thinking to yourself, this may seem a bit large for a portable device, in reality it's actually impressively small, especially considering it has enough room to include a built-in mouse pad that in total doesn't take up much more room than the traditional full-length mechanical keyboards from Razer. Of course, I can't forget about the weight. Mouse included, this thing weighs roughly 2-3 to three pounds. Now I don't own a scale that is sensitive enough to measure the exact weight, but as a rough estimate you can imagine the weight of a medium to large pineapple. This seems to be the perfect weight, at least to me, allowing it to be extremely portable at the same time feeling really high quality. When unboxing, I was pleasantly surprised to find that it was on the heavier side, giving it a more sturdy, more premium feel. One thing that truly stands out about this keyboard mouse combo from other Bluetooth sets is the fact that there is no need to replace any batteries. The keyboard features a 1500 mAh built-in battery, allegedly lasting upwards of 4 months according to Razer's product page. Similarly, the mouse sports a replaceable 1000 mAh battery with the potential for up to 40 hours of use on one charge. Both of these batteries are lithium polymer, which are said to last longer and be lighter and thinner than conventional lithium ion, but tend to be more expensive to manufacture. The set also comes with a charging stand for both the mouse and the keyboard which not only charges the device, but gives an elegant place to store them when the device is not in use. And it looks amazing. Now let's talk about the mouse. The mouse is small, and I mean really small. If you're the kind of person who likes to have your entire palm wrapped around a big, beefy gaming mouse, like the Corsair Vengeance M95, or even the Lenovo Y Precision, you might have a big issue with this mouse. Regardless, the mouse features an optical 3500 DPI sensor. Web browsing, maneuvering between windows and tabs, and even some mild gaming seem to come naturally for this device. And as an added bonus, the mouse pad is slightly magnetic, which allows you to release the mouse for use of both hands while typing, and not having to worry about the mouse sliding off. It also seems to add a slight bit of extra control when gaming. Now that I've gone over the specs of the device, let's explore what you get in the box. After lifting the lid of the box, we see a quick start guide that covers the device. Once pulled out, we see a few compartments. On the right, we see the mouse, and below that, the 1000 mAh battery. The dongle can be found in the mouse battery compartment, a convenient location while on the go. To the left, we have the lap board itself. Now, don't be alarmed if you hear the sound of angels singing as you lift the veil for the first time. Below the lap board, we have the documentation and razor stickers, as well as the charging stand, the dongle extension cable, the charger stand cable, and a box containing the power brick for said charger stand cable. It's a simple yet oddly satisfying box layout. I like packaging that can be reused if I ever want to resell the device or if I want to stow it away for safekeeping. Next up, connectivity. Connecting this keyboard and mouse to a computer or laptop couldn't be easier. 
Included is a Bluetooth dongle that connects to any USB port that allows for 2.4 GHz connection for fast, uninterrupted performance. The keyboard and mouse are also capable of connecting via Bluetooth. There are some benefits to Bluetooth connection over 2.4 GHz. First, Bluetooth tends to use less power than 2.4 GHz connection, therefore increasing your battery life. Though, keep in mind, it might have slightly more lag. So if gaming, it's recommended to use 2.4 GHz connection when possible. Using Bluetooth eliminates the need to use up a USB slot for the keyboard or mouse. So if your setup is running short on USB slots, then you will have comfort in the fact that you will still be able to use this set without having to remove any potentially important USB devices from your computer or laptop. Another benefit to connecting via Bluetooth is that you are not limited to laptops or desktops. You can also connect both the keyboard and mouse to other devices such as Android tablets and smartphones, which is cool, but not very practical in most scenarios. I did try this set with my Xbox One and it did work, but does not support games unless you use a keymander to map out the controls. The keyboard itself does actually work with iPhones and iPads, but the use is very limited, and there is no support for the mouse as of this date. Finally, we come to usability. This product is by far the most comfortable solution I have ever tried with a wireless mouse and keyboard. If you are looking to detach yourself from your desktop in place of a more relaxed and comfortable environment for gaming on your desktop PC, then look no further than the Razer turret. The mouse pad is just the right size and is spaced perfectly in relation to the keyboard and the mouse glides across with surprising accuracy and precision. While I can imagine it's not the best setup for the more hardcore competitive gamers out there, it will satisfy most casual to moderate gamers. Now, although there are some really great features of this device, let me point out a few oversights that could have been an amazing opportunity for Razer. First, the keyboard. If you were to look up a photo of this keyboard, you would easily believe that it featured backlit keys. However, this is far from reality. The keyboard features no such lighting besides the small power indicator and the caps lock indicator. And like I said before, the mouse is small and its maximum DPI is 3500, but for me it doesn't detract that much from the experience. However, if you're the kind of gamer who doesn't play casual games and values a competitive edge over your competitors, then let me politely say that this isn't really the device for you. Besides, competitive PC gaming doesn't exactly mix well with wireless peripherals or couches. But, of course, I could be wrong. On the other hand, if you are a casual gamer, then this is most definitely the device you want in your gaming arsenal. It is an extremely comfortable experience. Just kick back, relax, and play some of your favorite games from the couch. I've been using this set for several weeks now, and I couldn't be happier with the overall experience. Let me know your thoughts about the Razer turret in the comment section below, and let's include the word sharp, as in Razer sharp, in your comment to let me know you made it to the end of the video. And once again guys, thank you so much for watching, this is Awkward Replay, signing off.